Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Resident Evil Zero. Now you may have noticed Rebecca is holding a magnum and that is because I completely screwed myself in the other episode. I had no more there were no more health items to find and no ammo and those bastard monkeys would just not let me get back to the church area so I started a new game got back to roughly where we were before but it does mean I'm using uh, infinite items that I had already achieved through completing this game the last time I played it so we are playing on hard mode as you can see I've got all these items hard, it doesn't really matter that it's hard mode because we've got infinite weapons but I'm not using the rocket launcher because all the what all the weapons are infinite because I completed the mini game to get everything. But I decided since this is a lore playthrough, essentially, it's not going to really matter too much if I am using the special items because it's just to remind myself of how to remind myself of the lore behind Resident Evil. Because I am a bad Resident Evil fan. Oh good, there's dogs outside having a yapping contest. No idea if you could hear that. But too late now. Hey, now that's teamwork. And that went a lot better than last time. Um, I I said I was going to play through Resident Evil, or well, the list in the description says I'm going to play through 0 to 7, including the two Revelations titles. I haven't included the other spin-off titles because I'm not sure if they are considered canon in terms of the overall story. But if I can find copies of the other uh, spin-offs, like the Gun Survivor series... Uh, guide and things like that then I'll, I'll play through those as well because there are a few games out there in the Resident Evil universe that I have not played either because I had moved on to other things at the time or I didn't have the system to play them on so I may have to use emulators which I'd rather not do but if that's the only way I can play them that's how it's going to be but yeah, I'm sticking with 0 to 7 and the Revelations titles for this playthrough because those are the ones that I know are considered canon in terms of the overall story arc. We've seen this clip so we can uh, skip it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Now we can make some progress. Oh, I discovered what the code to that Derillium case was, by the way. You had to check the case, and it's written on the case. It was 385, and it just contained handgun parts, but since I'm now using special items, I do not need them. Okay, Billy, you're going to have to wait out here. And I will take that off you. No, not leave. Exchange. So stick with the magnet or take your grenade launcher as well. No, I'll leave you with the grenade launcher. Okay, now we can go into the church. Yay, new area. I did try to get past the monkeys on the other save without resorting to using infinite items. It was just impossible. I had completely screwed myself. There's an altar here. Despite its aura of divinity, you can't help but sense something ominous about it. This isn't Silent Hill, love. That's another series I want to go back to at some point. I haven't played Silent Hill in so long. And I kind of stopped 
after four. I really didn't enjoy the room all that much. I, f I found it quite boring initially, but I probably will go back to Silent Hill at some point and just do uh, do like with Resident Evil, do a straight playthrough, f starting with the first one. Because again, there's so many games in that series I haven't played. Like Downpour was one of them. And I think there was one on the Wii as well, wasn't there? That was kind of a remake of the first one. Shattered Dreams or something? Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big bad bat? Well, anyone who isn't scared of that's insane. And just shoot randomly into the sky and hope for the best. But yeah, I know it take these infinite items take the tension out of the game entirely. But this is just a a playthrough of the law. There's a hole in the ceiling somewhere, isn't there? Yes, there it is. And that's why we needed this. So we're going to have a nice relaxed playthrough of the entire series. I'm going to try my best not to revert, resort to uh, special items for the other games. I just completely screwed myself on this one. I didn't want to have to... Wanted to get go back to the beginning quickly and get back to where we were before instead of having to waste ammunition and health items again. Because that's what screwed me overall. Me being a moron. Okay, that is back on. Let's grab this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the health items with me when po where possible. Door is now unlocked. Now we can call Billy to our aid. Let's go. We should have power now. <coughs> Excuse me. Billy's equipped with flame rounds. Because they are the best rounds to dealing with the uh, leech people. Do you say anything? No. Okay. Fair enough. <coughs> God damn hay fever. Another lift. Oh, there's a file. Marcus's Diary 2. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I closed my babies up in a special capsule. But it won't but it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I hide I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys can figure out how to make it. Red and blue, I think it was, wasn't it? I'll go check over there. Yep, yeah. yeah, I've got it from here, Billy. Or was it green and blue? Because green and red does something, red and blue does something else. One of those is the stripping agent. I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a file. I think oh, I've missed this one before. Laboratory Manager's Diary. Today, under Director Marcus's orders, I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his children's growth. But the director's a loner. He isn't married, and he sure doesn't have any children. What did he mean? His bebeliches... I want the map. 
you can explode but explode in your own time. But kindly wait for me to go through this door first. Thank you. Okay, that opens up that down there. But before I do that, let's do an explore. You're locked. Okay, safe area. Okay, I believe this is locked. Yeah. What is through here? Oh, I wonder if they're going to get up. Ow. Well, not get up, but he's going to take a chunk out of my ankle. Guys, into feet. I'm not here to kink shame. Leech growth records. February 3rd, 1978. Administer T into four leeches. Four's in red. So that's significant. Their will to survive leads them first to parasitism. Parasitism, whatever that is. And predate and predation. Then they breed and multiply. Such a single minded biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapons research. Afterwards no major changes observed. February tenth Double the numbers. Seven days since administration of T, rapid growth to double former size. Signs of transformation emerging, spawning successful successful. They doubled their numbers in one they doubled the numbers in one hour, but their ravenous appetites lead them to cannibalism. Hasten to increase food supply but lost two. So four eight six but the, but two was in blue. March 7th. Provided them live feed but lost half when the live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from experience and are beginning to exhibit group attack behaviour. They are also ceasing cannibalism. Their evolution is exceeding expectations. So it was, it was six, lost half, so three. But I'm pretty sure the colour of significance, I could be way off base. April 22nd. The leeches no longer exhibit individual behaviour. Even when not feeding, they move as a collective. They consume everything I offer with, with remarkable efficiency. April thir April threatened. <laughs> An employee has stumbled onto my experiments. Can a human be a food source? How will the leeches respond? June 3rd. A day worthy of commemoration. Why is English hard? I'm not an idiot. Well, I am, but I'm not this much of an idiot. Big words. A day worthy of comm ugh, commemoration. Today they began to mimic me. Surely they recognise their father. Wonderful children, no one will take you away. So, red four, red eight, blue six and blue three. Do I have that right? <coughs> right, I need to make the gas or find a canister for the gas. Okay, so green and red made the stripping agent. Cool, I need that. So what did red and blue make? Or was it blue and green? I don't know. I've got I've got the mental capacity of a guppy fish. Oh God, no! I do love the Magnum. Ah, oh, conveniently placed first aid spray. 
go. Another one of these. Investigators report. Dr. Marcus, co-founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The results of his research have been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason became clear here at the training facility run by Dr. Marcus. Well, not here exactly, but underground. When we ventured below, we understood. There we found the evidence of Dr. Marcus's research into the T-virus prototype he called Progenitor. The evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become subjects, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation's secret safe. Where the doctor is now, I don't know, but considering the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes, his experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things, the fruit of his research, they fill this facility. The rest of the notebook pages are missing. Hmm, somebody doesn't want me to know something. Can't open you yet, I know that for a fact. That's there. So I need to send either something down to Billy, or Billy needs to send up to me. Ah, no, I need to press that button in the hallway and lift that, open up a door for Billy. I remember. I brain good. <laughs> yes, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, now we become Billy. Oh. Did you come under attack while I was away, Billy? Didn't realize there were any zombies in here. I should probably be checking these areas for, like, files. Because I don't think I've ever found all of the files in Resident Evil Zero. Like I said, I'm a bad Resident Evil fan. Hey! Burn. That's what I like to see. Now you... Yes, you are a combination. Cool. Okay, so I need to do some more exploring with Rebecca, because there's nothing else I can do here. But that was worth it. I need to check. Can't open that because it's filled with gas. That door's locked. That door's locked. Maybe I missed something, overlooked something. Too high to jump. Ha! Huh. Leon in Resident Evil 4 would really disagree with that. The guy's got bionic legs or some shit. Hopefully that's something they'll uh, correct in the Resident Evil 4 remake. No jumping down three-storey towers just because you can't be bothered to go down a ladder. I mean, I know Leon's a badass. He's not that much of a badass. Okay. Was there something in here I missed? 
I've definitely missed something. That much is obvious. Yeah, I need the green and blue leeches. Uh, <clears throat> God, the only other place to check is the room where I used the hook thing to get up. Okay, let's try here. Oh, something shining. No. Oh, how did I? Oh, oh Jesus, I'm an idiot. One of the capsules is glowing. That's the one we'll take. Okay, then I combine you with the stripping agent and I get the blue leech, which means I can send you down to Billy. Then Billy can enter the blue door. Uh, was it behind this door? No, behind this one, wasn't it? Yes! Alright, Billy, I've got something for you. A blue leech. How exciting. Cool. Now we can make some more progress. Hmm. Just in time to bring this episode to a close. We'll get there shortly. Now I'm debating with Resident Evil 2 and 3, do I play just the remakes or the remakes and the originals? Since the original and remake essentially have different stories. I might do that, play both. Same with Resident Evil 1, I might play both versions. Input Regulator, yeah we'll do that. Ooh. There's something written on the back of the photograph. To James, to commemorate your graduation, 1939. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. That was not the file we were looking at. We were looking at a photo. What's in here? Mysterious objects are floating in the water. Lovely. Down you. And you've got the green leech. Perfection. I do love the flame rounds. 
any files or anything in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, now we head back and send the green leech to Rebecca. Why did I say that weird? It's Rebecca. I tried to roll my R. Thing is, I can only roll my R's if I really think about it. I clearly wasn't thinking when I said that. That's why it all went horribly wrong. And also another thing with like Resident Evil 1 in particular, it has multiple endings. So should I do all of the endings? Again, it's something I might do because I'm very bored. And it will just provide me with a tad more content for my channel. It's not like anyone's watching, so I can do what I damn well like, really. Even if people were watching, I could do what I like. Yeah, I think I think that is what I'll do. I'll cover all versions, and then you can pick and choose what you think is the what you think is canon. Hello. Oh no, that's that, oh, that's the thing I need. You look like Wesker. Grab you because you've got sterilizing agent. Are you full or do I need to do something with you? Small tank, small tank containing a chemical agent that can be used to sterilize rooms, rooms contaminated by a virus. Okay, so it's full. I don't need to do anything. Let me just double check the files. Oh, did I miss? Did I miss one on the train? God damn it! Oh, it looks like I got all of the ones in the other one, other place. That's good. Which one was it? Ah, I think it might be this one. Red plus blue is sulfuric acid. Green plus red is the stripping agent. Right. Okay, so I've got red and blue, sulfuric acid. I I can't remember if that's something I need, but it's a good uh, way to remind myself. If you can hear cackling in the background, it's my roommate, and I do apologise. She's playing some game with her friends online. I don't know. Alright. Let's try putting the thing in. There's a red there. I can't remember where there was a blue. Maybe I don't need to do anything. No, I don't need to do anything with it. Excellent. And that's got a key or something in it. Have a seat. So very much. Reading room key. 
Now is that for up is that for the door out here, I wonder? Not a hundred percent sure. It is. Yes, we'll throw it away. We'll check this room out and then we'll bring this episode to a close because we made some good progress based on very little skill on these, all because of the special items, let's be honest now. Bloody hunters, I knew you were in here. I, I am not a fan of hunters. I mean, they're awesome enemies, but I hate them. <laughs> POW report. Research to date has shown that when the progenitor virus is administered to living organisms, violent cellular changes causes a breakdown in the system. Furthermore, no satisfactory method has been found to control the organisms for use as weapons. Clearly greater coordination at the cellular level is essential to ensure further growth. I conducted a number of experiments in an effort to find a breakthrough. This is my report. Wait, what was that? Insecta. Perhaps because these ancient animals have been genetically stable for millennia, when administered with the progenitor virus, they exhibited only explosive high energy growth and increased aggressiveness. It is extremely difficult to envision using them as a BOW. Amphibia. Injecting a frog with the virus resulting, resulted in an increase in leaping power and abnormal tongue growth. However, no change in mental ability was observed. Furthermore, an abnormal appetite resulted in the test subject randomly attacking all moving objects. Usefulness as a BOW is limited. One of that's the hunters. Mamma... Mammalia. Sounds very Italian. Mammalia. The progenitor virus was merged with monkeys' cellular DNA, resulting in increased fertility. That explains why there's so many of those bastards. The resulting young exhibited improved aggressiveness and some increased mental capacity as the side effect visual power was lost. But this was offset by an improvement in hearing ability. Or maybe if I wasn't running around like a jackass then I might have been okay. However, they were unsatisfactory as weapons. It does seem that no progress can be made without making humans the base organism. Delightful. Alright, so anything in these? Doesn't look like it, but that hunter could be covering something. I'll go back into the room just to make sure. Because sometimes the bodies just cover up something. Even if it's shiny, you don't see it because the hunters are big buggers. Right. Was there anything on my wasting my No, there was something here. See, I am a big brain. I know what I'm doing. Despite all evidence to the contrary, I do know what I'm doing. Sometimes. Occasionally. Maybe. Right. Okay, we'll pop in here. And then we'll end this episode here. Because I need to record some more Final Fantasy after this. So I don't miss any upload spots. I'm trying to stick to my two uploads a day. And it's just... So it's a nice challenge, it's just for, it's just timing that I don't have a lot of. Because, you know, working from home and all that. So, we'll end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigmalator, this has been Resident Evil Zero, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.